He always did have a temper, that one. I remember once when he caught me smuggling bog rolls out the salon and my puffer jacket, he went ballistic. We were married for four years. There's more to a relationship than a couple of fistfuls of Andrex. <laughs> Not in my experience. <laughs> You spot a hot guy across the room at a party. Do you A, accidentally brush up against him to start a conversation? B, stay where you are until he notices you? Or C, drag him to the bedroom whispering this thong isn't gonna peel itself off? You're playing out to get, aren't you? I think I'd go for D. Andy McGlasson said, does this drink taste of a hypnol to you? Oh, good morning, Twinkle Toes. Hey, come and do this quiz. It tells you where you are on the slutometer from Sister Wendy to Christine Aguilera. Troy's breaking up with me. What? I just got a text from him this morning. It seems 48 hours out of his company has convinced him he's better off without me. You can't be serious. Come here, let's have a look at that. I think we both know that this situation has become unworkable. And after careful consideration, I've decided to ask you to move out of the house. Don't read it all. <laughs> if your bags aren't packed by the end of the month, I'll have no option but to take legal action. This is outrageous. He sent several messages that I couldn't read them. I felt sick. Hmm. He always did have a temper, that one. I remember once when he caught me smuggling bog rolls out the salon and my puffer jacket, he went ballistic. We were married for four years. There's more to a relationship than a couple of fistfuls of Andrex. <laughs> Not in my experience. I've got to go back. I can't deal with this over the telephone. Oh, no, you don't. Come here. Look, he's made his big statement. Now let him stew for a while. The best policy is total radio silence. Isn't that right, Carmen? See? But I can't just... No, no, no. Trust your Auntie Kenneth. Look, give it 24 hours. No calls, no text and no emails. Oh. Come out on the Raz tonight. Snog a total stranger and put yourself on that slotometer. Cause you are beautiful, no matter what they say. Please, what? don't sing. I'm depressed enough as it is. And no, I won't be joining you on your sordid little jaunt round the back streets of Benidorm. I have far too much self-respect for that. Yeah, all right. Oh, but you will stay the night, won't you? Play a bit of hard to get. When it comes to moody silences, I practically wrote the book. If that's not an oxymoron. Oh, he's not a moron. He's just overreacted a bit, that's all. 